story now. Rumbridge community members have burned tires and protested throughout the night. Yesterday, they tried to erect shacks on privately owned land. Armed security as well as police were called in to try and disperse the crowd. So let's get an update now from our senior reporter, that's Avi Wemtila, who is at the scene. Avi, good morning to you, colleague. What's been the latest? So the community is scattered in every direction now, Dumelo, because uh, the private security has moved in deeper into the land, uh, shooting, essentially. We're not sure if they're, they're rubber bullets at this stage, uh, but there have been endless shots uh, that have been fired to the community. Some of them just standing and asking why they're shooting at us. But I'm trying to find out from this, um, one of the private security that was shooting here. Nomkulu, uh, what's happening? Why are you firing shots at the community? Yeah, I'm going to go to the community and then in the, in the, in the, in the government. And then what to see is the Tisabis was over and Pumili, but with and then Zosabenza Nabo the whole day. No Sabenza Nabo Nabo to Bula Manja, but in Jabinibat to Bula. Obviously, I told Lana, but in Nabo, no, but Posanga match, and I was was why again, I was 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 I just want you to show this. What, what, is it like? Eh, now, Danang Neraba, Angang Patanga life. Yeah. Is that the instruction that you've gotten to shoot at the people now? No, he didn't know that we are like a place where my police are. I need to go government. Yeah. Mm. That's about this, but to go there because, ne, Linda, we are by phone a government. I see. Yeah, one. That's one of the, the, the private security officials adamant that this will continue the whole day as long as the Rubber Ridge community tries to um, um, uh, get into this land. They still will continue uh, firing those shots. There are shots there. They're reloading the, the, the ammunition now for their guns. They're saying that it's rubber bullets. It's not live ammunition, but there's been heated standoffs, and the community is adamant that they're not going anywhere. That's the situation that's happening at Rubber Ridge, at a stretch of about a kilometer of land that the community is trying to um, build shacks in, but the security officials aren't letting them build those shacks. Yeah, I, I just give us some context briefly here, colleague, if you may. Earlier on, you had spoken to some of the community members saying that the uh, owner of the land failed to produce some documents. Uh, some even saying that they wanted to, you know, continue with their livelihoods there. I mean, what seems to be, you know, the, the, the conflict, the issue between the landowner and, you know, the commuters? Dumelo, we've been engaging with the community since um, yesterday. The community tells us that this land that we own um, has been vacant since 1996, and no one has been living in this land. Instead, there's a lot of criminal activity that's been happening here. Uh, people murdered, bodies found, and people raped in this land. So they're saying that uh, they've been wanting houses, essentially. So they've taken it upon themselves to move into this land. But since then, Rali um, Mampeule, the um, CEO of the South African Housing and um, Property Funding, says that they bought this land about six months ago and essentially uh, they're in communications with government to try and build RDB houses for the people yeah but the people are saying that we've heard all those stories before in the meantime while they wait for that process to unfold and happen uh, they want to build um, shacks in this land uh, but rally says that they're going to coordinate off today and you can see there's quite uh, some violence here with the uh, security officers uh, being quite violent today, not um, hearing what the community wants to say and, in fact, just shooting them um, carelessly at this stage. So it's a heated standoff today, Dumelo, a much more heated standoff than we saw yesterday because yesterday uh, the police channels that were here from the JMPD were merely um, just uh, firing water cannons, tear gas, as well as stun grenades towards the community. But today we he we're seeing uh, rubber bullets and the security of officials, private security, um, are not having none of it. In fact, in speaking to Rali Mambaule, he said that um, they, he's not going to let any community member move into this land today. No one's going to erect shacks here today. And it's, it's, it seems it's going to be a heated standoff today as well. All right, then. We'll leave it there. Colleague, of course, as that story develops, we'll be sure to check in with you uh, throughout the morning.